Hey there. I can see I'm rocking my hair today. Yep. That is no brushing. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm, tin pad. I've been zapping myself. Um, so, some of you know I was sick for like um, four days. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then kind of yesterday was sort of recovering-ish. Um, I'm still recovering. I uh, don't know if I had the virus. Um, it's kind of been going on for a bit. Um, and we know that I have issues with my... Um, I have reflux really bad and um, a bunch of issues in my esophagus and throat and everything. So... Um, in my lungs and blah 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 so um, like at first I thought I had aspirated uh, stomach acid because I had gotten a pill stuck in my throat I, I posted like when I got that stuck in my throat whatever day that was um, and then it just didn't get better and I actually got worse so I don't know if I was aspirating continuing to do that or um, my I'm having a lot of inflammation, um, so it's probably that because I'm not getting solids down very well today, but um, or yesterday or the day before. Yeah, so it, it could just be that, but um, I had kind of a, a infection, you know, in my sinuses and nasal you know, infection, and then. Um, you know, just like really bad shortness of breath and then um, I had a fever off and on for four days plus on March 8th when I went into, or excuse me, 10th, 9th, 9th, it was Monday the 9th. I had that appointment I'd been waiting for at the University of Washington and um, I had a fever and um, didn't, didn't know it. They took my temperature and um, it was, you know, 100. Um, and so the doctor, when he came in and found out I had the fever, he like ran out of the room and came back in with like the full on hazmat gear. He had like, he had blue gown, head to toe, with the like a blue shower cap and the largest um, surgical mask as I've ever seen. And then like this like clear plastic visor covering his you know eyes and for you know, forehead and ears and um yeah so um you know been really really careful um you know careful with my own germs but careful to not pick up anything um so in I have a suppressed immune system or have had one and then I've been um, doing um, iron infusions at the um, Swedish Cancer Institute and then going up there to see multiple doctors and have multiple tests and go through the Swedish and um, University of Washington system so um, and then twice my mom wanted to just stop at the mall on the way home actually third three times but the third time I was like hell no <laughs> I'm no no so um the Shelton testing or the Mason County testing doesn't have enough test kits to um test people who don't have like really high fevers um and they're just really really busy so, um, I've been monitoring everything myself, um, and, um, it, it helped, it was actually really unpleasant to do this, like, I felt a lot better when I was laying down, but it helped when I got up and moved around, um, like, it, it really aggravated my symptoms, like, the shortness of breath, but, um, I figured that, it was good to move around and um, not let that stuff solidify in me. So I have a, um, this, this is what I've been doing. Um, I have, uh, besides my air purifier, I have a um, humidifier going on the other side of the room and then I've got my um, diffuser right here um, burning 
I've got eucalyptus, um, oregano oil. Oregano oil is um, antiviral, antimicrobial, excuse me. And uh, eucalyptus opens, you know, opens the airway and helps you expectorate. Peppermint opens the airway. Um, um, I'm sorry, I, frankincense, that's, that's one thing I've been a little foggy in the head, frankincense is antimicrobial, and then lavender just, you know, to reduce my um, anxiety. Um, so I, I have had some spells of pretty severe shortness of breath, and um, I, ha I had one, one particular episode that was pretty scary, um, but so, you know, I have laryngeal spasms, I have um, asthma, I've got the um, esophageal dysmobility and some like partial paralysis in there and then um, yeah so then and then in response to um, basically so because everything for whatever reason um, my esophagus has been pushing food back up so um, I have like both types of um, reflex one is where the stuff comes up from your stomach and the other one is where stuff in the esophagus because um, I have a hyla hernia so when that swells and stuff doesn't go down um, so then for whatever reason my body is like pushing it back up and pushing it into my airway and um, so as a physiological change to protect my vocal folds which you can hear they're like I'm so I'm so ragged, like I'm not, I can't sing, I can, minimal talking. Um, so, and this has been going on for a while, a long, t long time coming. Um, so, <laughs> so the, the throat, like there's a band of muscles around here. And so as a physiological change to try to protect my lungs, and vocal cords, um, my body has started, you know, pinching down in here. So it's caused a lot of tension in there, which then makes like, um, makes it really hard to sing and talk and like really easily get a sore throat. Um, and then, you know, to top it all off, when I got in the car accident, um, it aggravated an issue in my neck. So, um, I pushed really hard on the steering wheel to try to um, keep myself from being jarred. Um, but we, we, the car was hit and spun. And I injured that area in there. And then because of my latex allergy, I just, I couldn't find a place to um, get physical therapy. And it just, it's been this, and plus, you know, I've been sick and, you're aware of my whole saga, some of you, probably a lot of you, you know, minimally aware of the whole health saga, mystery crap, combination of, like, super unlucky combination of things. So anyway, I, I injured that area in there, and um, now I have bone spurs that are pressing between um, on C6 and C7 that are pressing on my um, esophagus and so basically it's like this little cup in there that prevents food from going down my pills stick in there it's um, it's really it sucks it sucks so bad um, yeah but you know I'm alive and I'm up I'm happy I'm happy to be like finally today I have my stuff out here I'm I'm trying to fill some orders um yeah so um I love you guys um yeah just thank you for hanging in there with me and encouraging me and um I'm I'm doing my thing so yeah that's all I'm all I want to say